my name is Anubhav and this is my first tutorial and today I will show you how to calculate the deflection in the beam using the Stat Pro. and today I'm going to take one problem from the book ER Rajput strength of material all right so let's begin first of all I would like to tell you the problem okay you need to open the problem on page number 411 okay the problem is on page number 411 so the main aim of this tutorial is to check whether the deflection that has been calculated manually is the same that has been given by the software all right so let's begin the problem we are going to click on this new project and select space you can give any name to your project all right i'm giving it uh, something like uh, deflection all right the length will be in meter and the force is in kilonewton okay hit next and hit finish so according to the problem the beam over here is a cantilever beam and it's it is of 3 meter in length so firstly we will draw a beam which is of 3 meter in length so i firstly click on this point zero and then on this number three and in order to break this line i will click on this snap to node and beam button okay now since i want to close this grid also i used to click on this small button as you can see over here all right now the beam has been closed now if you want to view the beam in the xy plane you need to click on this button all right when the plane is xy that means you are viewing the z face of the beam now the property of the beam that has been given is that the beam is 300 mm deep and it's 150 mm wide but before that i'd like to tell you one more thing that in the question they have given the modulus of elasticity as 210 giga newton per meter square and since we have unit set to kilonewton we need to convert it to the giga newtons all right so firstly for this thing we need to define our material so in order to create material you need to click on the general tab and from here you need to click on the material and hit create you just need to give any random name uh, i'm giving it custom material all right now please make sure that you don't provide any space in between these wordings that is custom and material uh, you should not provide any space between custom and material otherwise it will give an error okay so the modulus of elasticity over here is given 210 giga newton per meter square if i want to convert this to kilo newton per meter square i need to multiply it with 10 to the power 6 so what happened if i will use to multiply 210 10 with 10 to the power 6 i get the result that is 0 all right and since we know that the Poisson ratio for concrete lies between 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 so I'll take a mean value all right maybe around 0 0.15 uh, maybe slightly more that is 0 0.17 it will be good all right and hit ok now we have a custom material ready so now we need to define the section for this we need to click on property pages over here and hit define since the question specified that it is a rectangular beam we need to hit on the rectangular tab and give the depth of 300 mm and the width of uh, its uh, 150 mm all right and from here we can select our material that is custom material and hit add and close this thing since we have only one beam we can use this option that is assign to view and hit assign click yes and now as you can see that this beam has been assigned a custom material since it is a simply supported beam uh, the one end of the beam is fixed so we need to create a fixed support a fixed set support okay so go to the support page and hit the create tab and here as we can see that the first option is the fixed set support we need to hit add button again okay select the fixed set support and click on the assign button and now choose the end where you want to assign this kind of support uh, as per the problem the support is on the extreme left of the beam so i used to hit here and the support has been assigned now close this tab 
Till now we have modeled our beam and provided the support. Now the other task is to apply the dead loads that have been given in the beam. Okay, there are two types of load that has been assigned. The one is the UDL that is of 20 kN meter and another one is the point load that is of 30 kN. So in order to define the load, firstly we need to click on the load page. Here go to the load cases detail and hit add button. From here choose what kind of load it is. Since it is a dead load, static load, we will choose dead, dead load and give it some name. Maybe something like UDL and point load. Alright, and hit add. Close this tab. Now select the load case that you have just created and again hit add button. Since the beam is a member, uh, it is a rectangular member, hit on the member load and from here you need to hit on the uniform force. Alright. Just give it the value of minus 20 kN meter as per the problem and why I, am, why I am giving it a minus sign it is because minus sign demonstrate that that the load is in downward direction. If I avoid this minus sign that means the load is in upward direction. Alright, we are not going to give any distance over here because we need to apply this load over the whole beam. Alright, hit add now. The other load that has been given over here is the point load and the point load is placed on the extreme right of the beam. You can go to the nodal load option and you can just simply give the value of minus 30 k in the y direction. Alright and hit add. Close this tab. Now you choose the uniformly distributed load that you have just created and uh, for this you need to choose this option assign to view and hit assign. Click yes and the load has been assigned to it. For the point load, you need to select the extreme right point of the beam by using the node cursor. Just select it and uh, now for here you need to choose on the option assign to selected nodes. Okay and hit assign. Click yes and the, as you can see that UDL and the point load they are assigned on the beam. Now you should scale the load in order to have a proper view. You know what happened over here? Since the point load is of a greater magnitude, that's why the line of the point load is much higher as compared to the UDL. Since UDL is only 20 kN and the point load is of 30 kN. Okay, that's a very good representation that you can know by this. Uh, for example, if you have applied so many loads, four or five loads on a single beam, you must know which has the greater magnitude. Not just by seeing on this, uh, right window tab but also visually all right so after all this thing we need to hit the analyze and print button since these are the static loads we need to do a static check hit add and close this thing and run analysis it will take some time all right uh, analysis has zero errors zero warning and zero nodes hit done and now go to the post processing and select the load combination that you have just made and hit ok ok just full screen this thing and while pressing your control button scroll your mouse in order to scale the diagram alright now in order to see the maximum deflection over here go to the result view values uh, beam result displacement maximum resultant and annotate all right now close this thing now as you can see that the deflection that has been given the maximum delta maximum deflection that has been given by the stat pro is 6.719 mm whereas the deflection that has been given in the book is 6.67 mm that is pretty close all right stat pro is giving slightly more deflection than this and that's okay all right so by this way we can confirm that yes the manual calculation and the result of the stat pro are equally same okay so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll keep on uploading more and more videos for you guys this is just the basic video in future i'll upload the whole building analysis and stat foundation tutorial also okay just uh, keep sharing this video and please hit the subscribe button uh, it will motivate me and uh, help me in creating more and more videos. Okay guys, thank you, take care, bye bye.